And welcome back, everyone. Joining us this morning, we have Jean Reynolds from the Marquette County Health Department. Jean, thank you for coming in and joining us thank this you. morning today. No problem. You know, one of the things that parents have to take care of, and, and because it is a law in the state, mm -hmm. there are certain immunizations that students have to have. That's correct. And so I was just, would you refresh us, you know, what things do students need when they head back to school? Well, there are certain requirements. Actually, child care has requirements mm -hmm. for immunizations as well as kindergarten entry and sixth grade students. Those oh, okay. students are all assessed. Any student entering in the, into a new school district's immunization records mm -hmm. are looked at. And each age group has different vaccines, and there are multiple ones. I don't know if you want me to go into the specific vaccines <laughs> required for each age group. Well, or maybe some of the more, you know, more intense ones, ones okay. that, you know, things that, you know, need to be taken care of ahead okay. of time that you know um, Generally for a kindergarten entrant, they need um, a series of diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis vaccine, polio vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella, chicken pox vaccine. Those are generally the, okay. I'm not missing one, sure. the kindergarten <laughs> entrant vaccines. Um, those are the routine series. There are recommended vaccines for mm -hmm. that age group as well. Okay. Hepatitis A vaccine is also recommended, but state law at this point doesn't require it for school entry. We really hate to <laughs> differentiate that mm -hmm. though. Right. But yeah. um, there are sixth grade requirements for school entry, um, not for school entry, but to continue on into school. Mm -hmm. And that would include the meningitis vaccine, a repeat chicken pox vaccine, um, tetanus booster with pertussis in it, wow. Um, those are the three that okay. they're looking at at sixth grade. Now, speaking of meningitis, I know mm -hmm. a lot of college students are thinking, I'm going to college, right. I don't right. need this anymore, but it seems like meningitis is a big problem in colleges. It, it can be, just from the close quarters. Sure. They used to just recommend it for children, or college students, right. not children anymore, living in dormitories. Now it's generally recommended for all college students. So that includes okay. many kids, many people who are commuter students. They're sure. just in close quarters with each other. And, and just because we get to a certain age, even though we're not in school, there are things that mm -hmm. adults should really look at as good ideas to get some right. booster shots on things. Right. And I know being here, I may not re remember <laughs> everything, I, but there are very good websites sure. that tell you, cdc.gov and michigan.gov slash immunize mm -hmm. are two good websites that will tell adults what they need. Flu shots are recommended for all adults. A tetanus booster with pertussis is recommended for all adults. There are adults in high risk groups who, okay. sh who would need, and the high risk groups include asthmatics, people with diabetes, okay. just not, not that uncommon things. They sure. need more vaccines, but they're not always aware of it. Okay, so. now if, if a, a parent isn't certain where they're sitting right now, should they mm -hmm. just contact you to find out what things they need to take contact care of? Contact any local health department, contact their physician. Mm -hmm. Um, I think pe parents assume that the schools are looking at their shots all the time, but they're not. So right. please get a hold of your medical care provider to find out what your children need. Okay. Well, Jean, thank you so much for coming no and just problem. giving us a booster on this, so to sure. speak, to help us <laughs> yeah. refresh ourselves so that parents don't walk into it last minute and say, right. oh, guess what I forgot to do. Right, so, right. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks. All right. Now, I'll tell you what, another thing that a lot of folks are looking at getting to the end of summer, still doing some last minute stuff on fixing up their houses and we'll join Andrew Lacombe for our Do-It-Yourself Wednesday coming up next.